Before we get this thing started, I just want to let you guys know I do coach on Medify. If you guys are interested in being coached by me, you can book a lesson in the description down below. X and welcome to my dojo. What's up, everybody? Hey, is your disadvantage suck with Kazuya? Okay, great. You're just like everybody else. In this guide, we're going to be talking about all the things you can be doing to make your disadvantage better, make better decisions, and just generally how to work around your opponent when you are just getting dumpstered on. Key things I'm going to be talking about is going to be how to get out of the juggle state, how to recover and mix your recovery properly along with just your disadvantage in general, and your ledge options when it comes to getting off of ledge and you're being ledge trapped. Without the way, let's go ahead and talk about juggle stick. The key to getting out of disadvantage is understanding how your opponent wants to hold their advantage. Are they the type that wants to go up after you and be super aggressive with up airs and stuff like this? Well, in that case, your best options would either be to throw out a meaty hitbox like fair and fastball, or back air if you're um, facing away from them, or one of my personal favorites that is a very underrated move that not enough people are using is down air. And here's why. The hitbox is massive, and the startup of it has really good model shifting where he kind of shifts his body high and ends up falling down onto his opponent. One of the best strategies to get out of being juggled is going to be up B. Whenever you up B, if you are managed to get hit again by characters with high jumps like Greninja or stuff like this, you still have the ability to up B again, whereas if you spend your double jump, that is not the case, you are way more limited. So, make sure to use up B in the moment you are launched. So, whenever you up B, if you immediately down air, one thing that is good to know is you were able to auto cancel on the ground. Or, you can immediately do this and DI towards a ledge and grab ledge instantly. So in situations where someone like Falcon is chasing with up airs, it turns into a great counter hit option to get out of disadvantage. Don't be afraid to throw out down air in these situations as well when you're off stage, just because you are able to jump and up B to recover as soon as you do so. And in general, even if you're not trying to go for a reversal, it's just a good way of getting down and being able to recover at angles that are more favorable that you can cover. Being smart with things like laser stalling, down B stalling is really important. Just make sure that whenever you go for these options, that you do it in a range where you're not immediately going to get opened up or punished for it because your opponent is close to you. Mainly talking about laser. Laser is a good stall option if your opponent is far away because you have time to air dodge, but if they're too close to you, they will end up being able to hit you and possibly edge guarding and killing you. Now let's talk about down B. Down B is such an amazing tool because it's great for stalling because you pretty much can stall with it infinitely. It can be B reversed and it has armor on frame 4. In situations when you're trying to force your way down, you can go for something like air dodge, don't fastball, and then B reverse towards your opponent if they're trying to catch your landing with things like dash attack or meaty hitboxes. It can also be super useful in situations where your opponent is trying to mash at ledge to ledge trap you. Whether it's like a Mithra mashing down tilt, or just characters that like to ledge trap by just putting out long lasting aerials at ledge. It is a really good reversal to just kind of throw out, get a command grab, and get off the ledge. So when you're thinking about using down B, if you're coming out of a juggle state, make sure to up B first, and then drift away from your opponent. If you see they're going to chase after you, you can always just go for air dodge, and if they try to frame trap the air dodge, you can always go for B reverse down B, and it, since the armor starts on frame 4, a lot of times you're just going to end up scooping your opponent and trying to catch you. Now let's talk about Kazuya's recovery. First off, I just want to say, whenever you are recovering low, it is almost always smart to recover first with up B before you jump. For similar reasons for why it's smart to do this whenever you're in a juggle state. You burn your double jump, and you get head hit, you're just immediately going to be limited in what you're able to do at that point. So if you up B and you get hit when you up B, you can always just up B again. You can't do that with your double jump. Another fine point is the startup hitbox of your up B is pretty big. And a lot of times, it sends your opponent in favorite positions whenever you get set up in situations where you get staged fight and you tech and you need to be up B. Make sure to mix up whenever you're actually going to grab ledge or when you want to go for certain kinds of reversals like side B, down B like we showcased before, and sometimes you can even get up there. So you want to be aware of when it's okay to go for these types of reversals, mainly whenever you see your opponent playing super aggressive and throwing out a lot of attacks at ledge is normally the best time to go for that. But if you think that, hey, if I up B right here at this time, it's very linear. If I snap ledge, I'm just going to get down air. Just don't be afraid to use the air drift of your up B to drift back a bit. And then try to do something like mix it up between like air dodging and grabbing the ledge. 
or just simply going above ledge, and sometimes you can even hit them with an aerial like fair, stuff like that. Now for getting off ledge. The best way to figure out how to get off ledge is make your decision making based off of how your opponent wants to ledge trap you. Are they the reactionary type? In that case, there's a couple of things you can do. Whenever you decide to jump and go high, you can go ahead and use your jump to jump off a ledge and then up B, and then you're in the state to where you can try to mix up on coming down on top of them, similar to what we talked about later on in this guide. The fastest reversal we have on our opponent is standing at roll distance, is side B. The reason this move is so good is because it's hard to react to, and the aerial version of this has a longer stun box that crumples your opponent, compared to its grounded counterpart. Another good mix is going to be jump and angle down laser, because when you do this, if they do manage to block the laser, you can immediately fast fall down with an aerial of some sort, and then at that point, you can either go into electric or something like that, because if you go with something like Nair, that's negative three, or fair is negative five, so making it pretty safe to go straight into electric once you fall down, or you can even do things like tomahawk down. If you jump off a ledge and immediately air dodge down, as soon as you input jump, you will instantly be standing right at ledge to be able to fight your way off of ledge instead of having to use all these other options that seem super middle. When your opponent is very mashy at ledge, like your roids, your wolves, characters that like to do short hop aerials a lot at ledge, it makes your life a lot easier. Because we have things like neutral get up, electric, that is super good at just slapping them away and getting huge follow ups, obviously, because we have so much stage to get our follow ups and kill confirms and zero to deaths and all our shenanigans off. Keep in mind, though, if they do this to bait you to do neutral get up, they can tomahawk and do things like grab, so you gotta watch for that. You also have the ability to call this out, like, if you know they're gonna do that, well, you can just, instead of going for neutral get up, electric, you can go for something like let's jump a down B to catch them for shielding, or up air if they catch them as they're in mid air. If you utilize all these tips that I gave you in this guide, I promise you your disadvantage will be much better. Just the key thing you need to understand is your decision making out of disadvantage should be made by what your opponent wants to do in advantage. If they play aggressive or if they play bait and punish to try to get you to burn resources, you need to option select around what is being shown to you not off of what you feel you should do in your subconscious mind where you're panicking and all this other stuff. If you are mashing options without actually thinking about it in disadvantage, that's the first problem. That's not even just a Kazuya problem, that's a player problem. So you need to check yourself for that alone. Everything you do in disadvantage should have a reason for why you're doing it. Just remember, we're heavy. We live for a very long time. If a combo is true, don't mash. Just DI away, take your damage, and go and grab the clip. When in doubt, that is always going to be the best strategy. Before you guys go, please hit that bell icon so you guys will always know when my new videos go live. And also, please hit that subscribe button and maybe come by and check me out on Twitch. I definitely would appreciate it. And also, guys, don't forget I do coach on Medify. I really would like to see you guys come through and support everything I have to offer so that I can continue making you guys the guides and the content that you guys enjoy. Thank you guys so much. I am Ronan X, and I'll see you next time. Peace.